So just explain what you're doing. Your finger in the ring. Morning YouTube, welcome back to another video. Now, that's an intro that some of you may have seen in the previous video. A car driving up the driveway, usually it is my BMW, but today it was my fiance's Nissan Qashqai. So what we're doing, what we're doing today is we're going to be giving my fiance's Nissan Qashqai a service. We're gonna be changing the oil filler, the air filler, and the oil. I'm gonna do this video with a bit of a twist because I'm, although it's, I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna be doing it, is what I'm trying to say. My fiance is going to take part in this video. She's going to service the car under my supervision and direction to make sure that she does it properly. I will be helping her. So she's a little bit camera shy, so we might have to give her some encouragement. But let's let's give it a go nonetheless. So this is my fiance. The first thing we're doing that she reckons she knows how to do is open the bonnet. Oh I think we're off to a good start. I think she has got it open. Look at that. Just remember anything. Oh no, turn it off. I forgot where it is. You're putting me on edge. Pull this down, pull it, push it, and then there should be a locator. Well done. Should we get the car in the air? Yep. You nervous for this bit? Nope. Yeah. So slowly. Keep going, run it nice and high. the car now in the air um, I kind of took over on that because I want to make sure the car was safe and it was correct on these cash cars then I've just been saying that they have a big skid pan underneath so my BMW if you go and watch my previous videos you'll see that I've got a little centerpiece that you can pop open and drain your oil these don't have that so we're gonna to have to set this off so we're just working away now taking them off have you got it I don't know. lefty loose there eh? it's not doing it that way so it's a ratchet, after explaining this, it's a ratchet, you'd have to keep taking it off. You can just go. Yeah, no, but it's not doing it. You have to hold it on. That's what I mean. That's the first bolt off, 20 minutes later. <laughs> and we're off, look. Shut up. How are you so fast at it? Because I've done it a lot. So we just took the under tray off, it's just in the garage. Next, we're gonna take the oil out. Do you know how to do that? So we need to take this oil, engine oil cover off. You should just be able to pop it off. What? Just give it a tug. And it should just work free. Just put that on the floor in the garage. So, what we need to do, you listening? Mm -hmm. What we need to do is let pressure out of the engine. We do that just by taking that cap off. That's 
should be attached to that though. That should. Just going to mention this because I think it's quite interesting for people out there if you have the same problem. On the, the Qashqai, this is the 1.5 diesel engine, this is a dipstick, it's part of your oil filler cap. Now, the dipstick had come disattached and it was stuck inside the neck. So what I had to do was, these two bolts came off, which allowed me to push the neck down a little bit and I managed to get a hold of that and, and pop it back out. Just thought I'd share that with you because that's a nice useful tip. Bit of an update, this is taking longer than what we thought. Um, so I didn't, we didn't actually have the tool to remove the sump plug. I've had to go and get one, sump plug drain bolt. Um, this is the one that, this is the one that it needs. So that's the tool that we, this is the set that we bought. This is the actual one it needs. It needs to be a square one. Uh, it's an eight, and it's an eight millimeter. Um, if that'll focus. Um, so we're gonna use this now to try and pop the sump plug off and, and drain the oil. This was 19.99 for this set. Was it? Yeah, it was. It was 20 quid for this set from Alfred's. Um, so not cheap, but all in the name of YouTube and servicing cars and DIY mechanics and all that. But it, it's a, another tool for the toolbox, isn't it? That's how I'm looking at it. It's another tool in the toolbox. So yeah, we'll give it a go. We'll try and get the oil out. Then what do I have to do? Right, so loosening the sub plug, put that in, push it away. In that way? I like, there you go. So you cracked it off, right? So take the socket off now. Can you turn that bit by hand? Yeah. Right, there's a trick here that not every mechanic can do, so this will decide whether you're a good mechanic or not. So you're gonna, as you undo that now, the oil's gonna come out but you need to get it out and the sump plug out with that bolt without dropping it in the oil. I think you can do that. I don't know. You might be able to set that tool away and just turn the sump plug now. So you've got to get the sump plug out without it falling in the oil. It's still coming. Yeah. It'll start pissing oil all of a sudden on you. There you go, it's coming now, the oil, you need to be quick. Oh, Don, it's stressing me out. Go on. Three, two, one, play away. Wait, wait. Oh. Have, you, have you still got the sump plug? Yeah. Yes, good girl. So just put your sump plug on your on the cardboard now. Sorry. It's alright. Good job that. What keeping all of it? Yeah. And then we just let it drain out. It'll take about five minutes. Can I have some? Just pull, so just pull your glove now, turn it inside out. I'll dispose of these correctly because they've got oil on. So while the oil drains, we're going to change the air filter. We've gone for a Bosch, probably one of the better brands. Uh, I believe this is the air box. Yeah, that'll be the air box. Some clips and some screws. Do you want to have a go at your own? Or? Yeah. Go on then. So push it down as you do it. I am. Professional mechanic here shouting at me. Oh. Air intake there looks like it's got to come off to be able to access the uh, the panel. A bit of a nightmare. If I'm honest. I reckon we need to get some young car detailing in here. It's filthy, yeah. Why is it so hard? So the trick if you hold that as you do it, it it's easier. Go in there. So all that now should come free. Oh my god. You need to see this air filter. Look at that. Can you see that on camera? Use a mask. Look at the filth. Why is it like that? Because it's not been serviced. Why is it like that? So in the service history of this car has not been serviced since it's done 16,000 miles. What's it on now? 30 something. 33. So it's done. I'm not good at maths. Another 16,000 miles. 
to before it's had a service. Amazed how dirty this is if you look at that. And then compare it to the new one. I mean it is a different colour, obviously this looks like it was a, a yellow filter, but look at look at the dirt that's in it. Filthy. You reckon you put the new one in? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. And then does it literally just stick back in? The same way it came out. So do you remember that toggle to the front? Yeah, no, but it just falls out. Yeah, so when so then do I just clip it? Yeah, so when you put that in, that's it, and then put your clips on it, hold it in place. Alright. Right, bit of an update. It's raining. Well, I've had to take over. So, what we had to do was we had to take this off. Yeah, so this tube, this tube connects. Focus. Yeah, so this tube, which I'll show you in a second, connects to the top here, which I think is the EGR valve or the, or the turbo possibly, down there into the intercooler. That then gave us the room to get our oil filter remover tool in this tight little gap here to get on to the oil filter. So what we're now going to do is move the oil filter, the oil drain pan and we're going to take the filter off the rest of the way by hand. Renault or Nissan, because this is a Renault engine, but Nissan are a stupid design this so, is. Kate is now going to remove the rest of the oil filter that I've loosened. That's it. Big turns, no big gains, have you got it? There you go. So we did try this by hand and we couldn't get it and we had to nip out and buy another tool. Another one. So that's two tools just to buy the, but it's all tools for the toolbox. It will leak oil, so as soon as you take it off, just point it downwards. Does it not matter about getting all the, all the stuff? No. Lift it up and point upwards. And there she is. The so this is the oil filter that we took off. I'll be honest, we nearly gave up and left it. You can see the teeth mark there from the, um, the oil filter removal tool. So this is a Clark one. I've only just bought this today for this job. And if I'm honest, <laughs> It got us out of a hole, so yeah, definitely worth the twelve pound. Thank you very much, machine mark. Thumbs up. Rubbing oil on the rubber bit to form a new seal when you put it on. Yep. So that only needs to be hand tight when we put it back on. But we had it is. It's been tricky, but it's it's been enjoyable working on this cash guy. So I'm getting a bit tired now. It is. And she's getting a bit cranky. Sure. But she's not really. So just put the under tray and I put all the clips in at the back. Katie's just put in uh, the four bolts that go across that join the under tray to the bumper. All that we've got left to do then is lower the car on the ground and put some oil in it. Service in a Nishan Qashqai. It's not something I want to do again if I'm honest. Probably wouldn't take me three hours like it has done today because I now know what I'm doing but yeah you definitely need something like this. Oh nearly fell over definitely need something like this to get your oil filter off you have to take that um, turbo return pipe off I think it, it connects a turbo to the intercooler if I'm right um, and you need a sump plug tool remover because it's an 8mm square which I've already shown you without them you're not going to be able to do it all that's left to do then put this under tray on car on the floor oil in it turn it on We're going to put the oil in. How much do you? Trick of the trade. A lot of people put that on. Put it on? 
Yeah. A lot of people will get oil and will pour it like this. This is wrong. This is wrong. What you want to do is pour it sideways because you've got more control over the bottle. How do you know I wouldn't have done that? Because you want to watch it. Good aim. Thank you. So we just put the oil in as you just saw, we're now going to turn the engine on for the first time and we'll reset the service light as well. I think that was it, good to go, this is the oil that we went for, went for the Shell Hexa Ultimate Professional 530 uh, for diesel engines, it's full of synthetic oil, so yeah, let's turn it on. Hopefully it don't blow up. Go on then. Can't hear me because she's moving the jack. Jack. So that's it. Service is all done because you can hear the cars running behind us. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, then. Yeah, we had to go out and get a few more tools like the sump plug removal and the oil filter removal tool. But more tools for the toolbox. We know how to do it next time. We reset the service light. I hope you're all staying safe during this crazy pandemic that we're in in the United Kingdom right now. Please, please remember like comment and sub subscribe to the channel for more videos to come thanks very much for watching